So I'm going to make a short video to show you how to modify the WordPress custom menus. And so basically um, the custom menus are a wonderful feature back here of course. And uh, the amazing thing about the custom menus though is that actually there are several different fields that you could use and fill in for the custom menus. So um, I just found this out the other day, actually. So if I go up into screen options here, and uh, it says show advanced menu properties, and I'll open them all up for now. So I've got link target, CSS classes, link relationships, and description. So now I have all of these fields available to me. And um, for this example, I've filled it in for the home item. Uh, so the label is home, which of course can be different than the p title of the page itself, which is great. Um, my title attribute, I've got my title attribute. Link target, um, I'll say link open in a new window, just to make it different than the default. And CSS classes, my CSS class. Link relationships, my XFN, uh, which the XFN is some kind of futuristic uh, link thing that people aren't really using that much yet but anyway and then description is my description obviously I just put some test stuff in here that wouldn't really be useful but the point is actually that um, all of these things are here in the back end but by default none of them are output um, so if you output it normally um, it's just gonna output the the uh, menu label and that's it and WordPress really leaves it up to you to figure out how to output anything else and by doing a lot of googling I found out that there's really not a lot of stuff out there about how to do this I mean there's some stuff but not a lot so I just wanted to explain in a really simple way how to do it so um, what you do here is let's see I go into my header where I have the code that outputs the custom menu and so the normal thing that you would have would just be uh, something like this WP nav menu theme location that's the name of the of the menu and then the menu class that doesn't even need to be there that's just the, the class the CSS class that's going to be in, in there uh, so what you do is you add a thing called a walker point it to a new walker and um, it's actually, uh, it'll make sense in a second here. So it says walker equals new my nav walker. So it creates a new object. And then you stick that down there. That's all you have to really know about that. Because then I have, and then in my functions.php, I'm calling a new bit of code called my nav.php. And um, here I have this my nav walker. So um, what I found out was at, what you're doing is you're extending the walker nav menu class from the core code of WordPress. And so um, what I've actually done, the simplest thing to do, um, is copy that class from here. And so actually initially all of this code is that code from uh, walker nav menu. So at this point it's going to extend it, but it's really not going to do anything different. Um, so if if I look at it now, you see it just does what it normally would do. Um, <clears throat> but now there's magic. So what we can do is go in here and right down here there's this is where the actual code is to write out the um, menu item so one thing I can do is I can say item output and this dot equals means append to the output text the following thing so Now, whatever I stick in here will be the new attribute that I want to show, pull out of the data and display. 
and I'll be wrapping it in a class called MNU at that then I can then style to make it look different however I want in the CSS. So I'll stick um, this in here. Attribute title. So now if I go back and refresh, my title attribute shows up. So that's really cool. So now I could, I could do anything I want with it, but this is what I'm going to do with it here. Um, by the way, you could use this to stick icons in. Um, you could easily use one of, sort of hijack one of these fields to um, put a URL to an icon if you wanted. Um, I mean, that would be a really simple thing to do that would be really cool and pretty flexible. Um, so let's see. So then we've got target. So we've got the um, XFN. Um, URL, of course. I mean, and incidentally, I guess, <laughs> I guess it does actually write these out. It writes them out as attributes, which is really where they're supposed to be. Uh, attribute title, target, XFN, and URL are being written out. They're just not being written out visibly. They're being written out as code, as attributes for the, for the A tag. But the, you still don't have control over them. Um, you might want to use them differently. So, um, for instance, attribute title works really well as a sub description here. But of course then there's also a description, which might be the best place to put a description. Um, so there you go. So that's all you have to do. Um, and then incidentally, since these are all the extends uh, directive here just means that it's overriding the defaults for these pieces of this class you can delete all of the functions and the variables that aren't being used and all this comment stuff um, and it still seems to work just fine. So um, you really only need to keep this one function and so that becomes a lot more easy to see what it's doing. And um, that's how it works. So there's tremendous potential for what you can do with this um, to make much more readable menus, menus that describe things in a much better way.